with Spider not doing much of anything in the first half. With Dinwiddie misfiring on a three-point try up top, the Mavs are now 37% for the floor and 28% on threes in this game. Dinwiddie nearly stole it from Donovan Mitchell. Now Mitchell's open to the elbow and hits. Yeah, you know, a guy like that sees it go in. Gore, if you would. You can get buckets. 26 points per game of the regular season, or darn near it. Ranking him ninth in the NBA in scoring. Dinwiddie ah! around Gobert. Gobert stretched out to catch him. For an extra possession. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Bob, catch, finish. Powell climbs the ladder. One of those plays that... I don't like it. Yeah. It's hard to keep 26 points down yeah. for 48 minutes. Brunson in the paint. Nice bounce. Now he gets a lot of money here early in the third quarter. And Hart, this is as old as the game, and I think it will continue for the, however many years basketball has played at this to how hot everybody else is. Then when he was fouled and is on the free. Just a moment ago, Mike Conley. And as a result. It comes and goes sometimes for him. That, that, that was point blank. Should have been a layup. And keep in mind, as Mitchell scores, Powell is a 77% shooter in the rushing. <laughs> what are they getting? Refuse, yeah. <laughs> well, they, they obviously don't like trash. Dressing. And if a guy's hot, you got to do something different against him. I, mean, I don't like the fact that the Mavericks are double teaming Bogdanovich. Brunson with an outstanding left-handed finish. Runs the floor. O'Neal will slam on the brakes and wait for support. You know, O'Neal has been extremely quiet as well this afternoon. Good D. Mitchell bobbled it. Bogdanovich to Mitchell as they reset their offense. Powell is on the perimeter. In a tricky spot guarding Mitchell, who goes to the three and banks it in. Of the game. But I think the key for Dallas is to continue to be aggressive offensively, perhaps a little bit, but now Donovan Mitchell is starting to uh, sprinkle his greatness. Yeah. You have to shoot it mm -hmm. when you're wide open like that. Pull the trigger. Mitchell sidesteps around the defense to score for the Jazz. And I both agree that he's been pretty darn good when yes. you talk about 40-plus percent. End of the shot clock. See what the Jazz do with it. Mitchell jams it. Wow. Green was stunned, had playoff experience in his time with San Antonio and with Washington. Today is his 28th playoff game. Mitchell inside and able to fight through contact. Bogdanovich hasn't needed to score. He has not scored, hasn't needed to score in the third quarter as Mitchell has single-handedly outscored the Mavs to have just 13 points in the entire third quarter. Well, that's the advantage of having more than more than one great offensive player and Donovan showed you his greatness in the first half with 20 plus I think in the first half and here comes Mitchell after a very slow start for him the Jazz have as I characterized it in multiple different uh, podcasts and radio interviews that you get asked to do before the playoffs start they have players that keep me up at night and Bogdanovich is one of them and Mitchell Obviously, is one of them as well. Are they? Are they you should try this Cabernet that I got. <laughs> <laughs> that will help me. That will, that will yeah, help me go to sleep. It. <laughs> it's a good cab. Opus one. You'll oh, go right there. Well, okay, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you, you'll go to sleep. But I agree with you, though. Both those guys, and then I would add Clarkson skin. I'm sorry yes. no, to that mix that can really cause problems and keep you up as our partner alluded to Clarkson yeah. is such an ideal guy to bring off any bench and do what he does who knew the cure for Utah Jazz created <laughs> insomnia it's a, it's a good cap <laughs> defense of three seconds Utah playing zone defense here and Hassan Whiteside in no man's land technical foul for the defensive three second violation on the big man who is the backup to the three-time All-Star and three-time Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert. Yeah, Whiteside was playing a college zone that time. Just <laughs> Jim Beheim was all good with it. Yeah. <laughs> Most like a box in one. A look at Quinn Snyder, 55 years old from Mercer Island, Washington, eight seasons as Utah's head coach. For what he's done, hard to believe he's on the hot seat. 
And I don't think it's that hot, but there's a lot of speculation out there. Oh, wow. Anybody around right side, and he takes it to the cup and scores late in the possession. That little hesitation dribble left white side in a bad spot. Well, with Bullard making the free throw for the defensive three-second call, and Dinwiddie's drive and score. It's a three-point possession for the Mavs. Drive, spin, hang in there. Mitchell, that's not a travel. Apparently, it's an air ball by Daniel House Jr. on a corner three. And a foul as House stops Dinwiddie coming up the floor. And Utah over the limit. Yeah, and that's a good thing, Mark. Here you see the defense this time. Penny Smith in good position, able to get a hand on it. I hope Thanks my man Dorian got credited for a block there. Because if not, it should have been a trap. Dinwiddie shot 72% on free throws in the 23 games he played with Dallas after being traded to the Mavs about 20 minutes before the trade deadline came on Thursday, February 10th. Oh, that's 0 for 2. Fruitless. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have everything right now. I'm just gonna try this little zone. Gobert's in the middle of it. Ball's on the perimeter right now. Screen and roll involving Conley and Gobert. Mitchell, four seconds left on the shot clock. No look pass. Intercepted by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie leads the break. He'll take it all the way downtown and draws a foul. You know, you, I'm 